Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to explain you the difference between Newtonian fluid and non-Newtonian fluid. Then the types of non-Newtonian fluid with examples and the representation of various fluids on the shear stress versus velocity gradient graph. Let's start. Friends, Newtonian fluid is a fluid which obeys the Newton's law of viscosity. And the non-Newtonian fluid is a fluid which, ob which doesn't obey the Newton's law of viscosity. Newton's law of viscosity is represented by this equation that is tau is equal to mu du upon dy. Here tau is the shear stress, mu is the coefficient of dynamic viscosity and du upon dy is the velocity gradient or rate of shear strain. And in non-Newtonian fluid, which doesn't obey the Newton's law of viscosity, so the tau is not equal to du upon dy into mu. Then third point is, in Newtonian fluid, shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient that is du upon dy. See in the graph friends, because of shear stress is directly proportional to velocity gradient, the uh, Newtonian fluid is represented by the straight inclined line like this. And here, in non-Newtonian fluid, the shear stress is not directly proportional to the velocity gradient. So, it is represented on the graph like this. This is a non-Newtonian fluid. Fourth point is, in Newtonian fluid, apparent viscosity is constant. And also, apparent viscosity is equal to Newtonian viscosity of fluid. In non-Newtonian fluid, the apparent viscosity depends on the shear rate. In Newtonian fluid, fifth point is linear relationship between shear stress and rate of deformation. Linear relationship so that in the graph it is a straight line like this. In non-Newtonian fluid, there is non-linear relationship between the shear stress and rate of deformation. So, the, cur the line will be like this in curvature for non-Newtonian fluid on the graph. The examples of the Newtonian fluid are glycerin, kerosene, air, water, alcohol, etc. And the examples of non-Newtonian fluid are slurries, toothpaste, gels, lubricant, etc. Now friends, this is the general equation of shear stress for various fluids which is tau is equal to A into du upon dy raise n plus B. For various fluids, uh, further we will assume a is equal to mu and B is equal to tau y that is here yield stress. Here A and B are the constants and N is the flow behavior index. Now friends we will see different types of non-Newtonian fluids. First we will see the thixotropic fluid or plastic fluid. It has a definite yield stress, that is, see in the graph, it has a certain yield stress. After that, it has the non-linear relationship between shear stress and angular deformation. This is then curve of the thixotropic fluid. Third point is, N is less than 1 and B is not equal to 0 in this case. So, the general equation that is our 
टाउ इज इक्वल टू ए इन टू डी यू अपॉन डी वाई रेज एन प्लस बी बिकम्स टाउ इज इक्वल टू म्यू डी यू अपॉन डी वाई रेज एन प्लस टाउ वाय हियर टाउ वाय इज द इल्ड स्ट्रेस हियर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इट इज टाइम डिपेंडंट फिफ्थ पॉइंट इज इट्स विस्कॉसिटी इंक्रीजेस विथ टाइम एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द थिजोट्रॉपिक फ्लूड और प्लास्टिक फ्लूड आर प्रिंटर इंक लिपस्टिक एक्सेप्ट्रा नेक्स्ट इज बिंगम प्लास्टिक फ्लूड और आइडियल प्लास्टिक फ्लूड इन दिस केस ऑल्सो इट हैज डेफिनेट इल स्ट्रेस दैट इज अप टू बी पॉइंट हियर and then it has a linear relationship between shear stress and angular deformation so it is a straight line straight inclined line like this it is called as ideal plastic also the third point is here n is equal to 1 and b is not equal to 0 so the our general equation becomes tau is equal to mu du upon dy plus tau y fourth point is it is time independent and examples of the bingham plastic fluids are sewage sludge toothpaste oil paint jellies apple sauce drilling mud etc the next is eupectic fluid eupectic fluid it also has a definite yield stress that is up to here b point in the graph then it has a non linear relationship between shear stress and angular deformation so its curve is like this on the graph the third point is it n is greater than 1 and b is not equal to 0 so our general equation becomes uh, tau is equal to mu du upon dy raise an plus uh, tau y in rheopectic uh, case it is also a, it is a time dependent fluid viscosity of it decreases with time examples of the rheopectic uh, fluid are gypsum solution in water and bentonite solution the next that is fourth is pseudoplastic fluid or shear thinning fluid in this case apparent viscosity decreases with increasing deformation rate it is represented as curve like this on the shear stress versus velocity gradient graph it is starts from this point uh, from the origin second point is here in this case n is less than 1 and b is equal to 0 so equation becomes tau is equal to mu du upon dy raise n it is time independent fluid example of it are slurries mud milk polymer solution gums blood colloidal suspensions paper pulp in water quick sand etc the next fluid is dilatant fluid or shear thickening fluid its apparent viscosity increases with increasing deformation rate it is represented as this curve on the shear stress versus velocity gradient graph and it starts from origin here n is greater than 1 and b is equal to 0 so the general equation becomes tau is equal to mu du upon dy raise n it is time independent quantity example sorry it is time independent fluid examples are suspension of sand starch butter sugar solution etc the next is that is sixth one is ideal fluid 
it has a zero viscosity and shear stress of it always remains zero and it is represented by horizontal axis on the shear stress versus velocity gradient graph that is this is ideal fluid representation on shear stress versus velocity gradient graph so friends in this video we have studied the difference between the newtonian fluid and non newtonian fluid the types of non newtonian fluid with examples and the very and the representation of various fluids on the shear stress versus velocity gradient graph thank you friends for watching this video like this video comment for this video and share this video and subscribe my channel thank you